What's going on YouTube? Thank you for joining me here in the Bass Basement for another Tips, Tech, and Discussion, better known as TTD. Yes, you are in the building with me in the Bass Basement. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I'm here in the Bass Basement. Give you what you need so you will succeed on the water. Today, I'm giving you my number one. 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 Numero uno. One. The number one chatterbait trailer that I'm going to use in 2020. It's brand new. I'm so excited to use it. This is a killer. This is the number one chatterbait trailer that I'm going to use this year. It's brought to you by the good people at Berkeley. <laughs> yes, Berkeley has given us the number one chatterbait trailer that is going to just get us fish after fish after fish. Well, what is it, do you ask? It is none other than the deal. That's right, it is the deal. It's a four and a half inch bait. Hold up, I don't even have it. Do I have it? I gotta go get it. I'll be right back. Where is that bait at? Ha ha! I am back, folks. And here it is right here. This is the deal. We've got it in black and blue. We've got it in electric shad. And we've got it in green pumpkin. Those are the three colors that I would use in regards to my water clarity and the bait fish that I am trying to imitate. So if I am going to imitate brim, bluegill, I'm just going to go with that green pumpkin. If I'm uh, fishing... Uh, stain to muddy water. I'm definitely going to go with the black and blue. And if I'm imitating shad, L white, uh, bait fish, things of that nature, I'm definitely going to go with this electric shad on the back of a white to uh, smoky shad style uh, vibrating jig chatterbait. Now, these are also the type of trailers that I would use on the back of a swim jig. So let's rig it up so you can see what the deal looks like on the back of my chatterbait. All right, folks, here it is right here. This is the deal. Very smooth bait right there. Very smooth bait. So it's not gonna give you a lot of resistance in the water, all right? It's gonna be able to come through the cover very well. It's going to be able to just stay within the water column as you see fit. The faster you reel the chatterbait, the higher the water column. The slower you reel the chatterbait or vibrating jig, the lower it will be in the water column. So this is uh, one of my favorite colors here in the chatterbait or vibrating jig. Let's rig this up to see how it looks. Now, one thing that I do notice, as I stated before, it's a four and a half inch bait. So with it being a four and a half inch bait, this bait right here is going to give you a pretty uh, large profile. So if you're in northern waters like myself and you live up north, you probably would want to uh, trim the uh, top a little bit to make a smaller profile for the fish that you're going to uh, be fishing for. If you're down in Florida, you're down in Georgia, you're down in southern waters, you're down in Texas, California, you probably want to leave it just like that. And there you go right there. Couple things I want to do. I want to dip these two tails a little bit in chartreuse to give it that brim or that bluegill appeal. And then other than that, I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna throw this in sparse uh, to dense veg vegetation, boat docks, uh, wood, rock, uh, stumps, things of that nature. But that's it right there, that's Bass Candy. And this is the number one chatterbait trailer that I'm going to throw in 2020 this is what i'm gonna go for and this is none other than the deal let's check out the black and blue and also the electric shad because those are the other two colors that i'm going to use i keep it real simple with my colors because as this uh bait is coming through the water we're either on a chatterbait or on a swim jig right there those fish they don't have a lot to uh a lot of time to commit to either they're going to commit or they're not going to commit. And I've seen fish right at the boat hit my chatterbait. And, and here's the thing. 
it has the power bait enhanced, infused into the deal, into, to, into the bait. And right now, I'm, I'm smelling all power bait. That's what I'm getting right now, it's all power bait. I'm about to faint. <laughs> it's all power bait that I'm smelling right now. And that is gonna exude in the water. And those fish are gonna smell that, they're gonna be attracted to it, they see the vibration, they see uh, these two tails, with their action in the water, and that is none other they're gonna do but get you a strike, whether large or small, it's gonna be some fish gonna be caught on this bait right here, and this is the perfect package for me that I'm gonna be chucking and winding with this bait. What's my setup? Well, my setup is none other than a medium heavy Veritas 7.4 winch rod. It's a winch rod, but it has a real good parabolic bend. I throw 17 pound, 100% fluorocarbon, and I'm either throwing a Revo SX or Revo STX in a 6-6 six, six to 1 or a 7 to 1 or 7-3 to 1 gear ratio. It's a high speed uh, setup that I'm throwing. I'm going to cover a lot of water. I'm going to hit those targets. But I definitely want to go into the electric shad and black and blue. Those are two colors I want to use, but just want to touch on my setup a little bit. I'll leave a description below so you can check it out a little bit further. And also, I did a uh, Chatterbait vibrating jig video uh, a while back and I'll leave that in the description box as well and that talks a little bit more in detail about my setup but that's it right there that is the deal paired with a vibrating jig or Chatterbait check that out that's that that's gonna be awesome that's gonna catch them let's go into two other colors that I feel are really gonna uh, help imitate that shad L wife and that stain the muddy water. I'm definitely gonna use black and blue. Let's check it out right now. Man, that looks good. That looks good. All right, folks, here it is right here. This is a smoky shad color in the vibrating jig or chatterbait, and it's paired with the electric shad. <laughs> this looks so good. Electric shad. The deal from Berkeley, and this is still that four and a half inch bait right there. And when, when, when this hits the water, you're gonna get a ton of action, and those fish won't be able to resist. You skip this under docks, you skip this um, under uh, uh, pontoons and, and things of that nature. Soon as the fish see this bait, as it starts doing its job, it starts doing going to work. This is going to get you bit, no doubt about it. They don't got a lot of time to commit. They have a short window to commit. And that right there, they're going to commit to off rip because they think that is a fleeing bait fish, a fleeing shad, and they're going to jump on that and get that quick meal that has came into their presence. So that right there is electric shad in the deal, four and a half inch on a smoky shad chatterbait vibrating jig. Check that out. Perfect combination. This is going to get you bit, no doubt about it, when you put it in their grill. <laughs> That's gonna be bad. Here it is right here, folks. This is the black and blue version of the deal. As you can see, it enhances uh, the black and blue chatterbait or vibrating jig I have right here. They will do the same for your swim jigs. A couple uh, things I wanna talk about with this bait. It exudes the power bait scent. So fish are gonna be able to track it uh, as they feel the uh, vibration of the head of the bait. They're also gonna be able to track it and smell the scent and really uh, get a hold of this bait when they strike it. Very small strike zone that these fish are gonna be able to uh, have to get this bait due to the muddy to stained water. So with that, that uh, power bait being exuded out is gonna be awesome. A lot of action from the tail. That's gonna give you uh, another reason for the fish to be able to hone in on it and grab it. And then let's talk about the durability of this bait. Nice. A piece of plastic that's um, uh, attached and it's not coming off and sit on that hook so cast after cast fish after fish you're gonna get your money's worth with this bait no doubt about it black and blue uh, belly right here so it's gonna give you uh, some uh, a better appeal to the fish so they can strike it so they that they see that flare within the water and then this also is a flat bottom so those of you that love to skip jigs that love to skip a swim jig that love to skip a chatterbait this is the Chatterbait trailer for you because it's a nice flat bottom. It's not going to give you any um, disturbance or any pullback 
when you skip it uh, under the dock. It's going to be real smooth and it's going to skip under there real good and then be able to retrieve and put this in places that you normally don't get to put a chatterbait when you have a uh, trailer that gives you some resistance. So this is a bait that's not going to give you a lot of resistance due to the flat belly. It's going to skip under docks real well and this is why it's going to be my go-to, my number one chatterbait and swim jig trailer for 2020. Check it out folks, the deal from Berkeley, my number one chatterbait trailer for 2020. That's nice. Well, there you have it, folks. That's today's TTD covering my number one chatterbait trailer for 2020. Make sure you go out and get you some. Make sure you tell a friend about what goes on here in the Bass Basement. And while you're at it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell.